Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to be starting Chris Chang's picture today. And this is Isla, Isla, I-S-L-A, coloring page by Ch Chris Chang. And I will leave the link in the description box. It's to her Etsy shop. And I hope I do her proud. We're going to start with an undertone of light peach. We're going to give this one light skin because we just did the, the dark skinned one um, now wanting to do really light skinned and I think I'm going to make her blonde and you know how exciting that bottom layer is <laughs> I just so I'm going to speed this up on the first layer there's nothing to doing the first layer the next color that I'm going to be working with is peach and I started it a little bit as you can see and you're going to just work your way in. Now there's going to be four colors that you're working your skin tone. This is not contouring. We're going to use different colors to contour this, but you're going to work back and forth between light peach, peach. Nectar is going to go at the hairline. And you can see a nice difference with that how it blends in and then we're gonna blend it up and and get everything nice and creamy with the white I'm doing this a little bit premature just as a demo and you want to hold that highlight area with your white so I'm gonna turn you on hyperlapse and I'm going to just get you up to the point where we're going to be contouring the face. start adding in some contour colors. My next two colors are going to be Beige Sienna and Deco Peach. The Beige Sienna is going to give a natural shadow to the hairline. I've used so many peaches that this was going to, this will kind of like darken it up a little bit. And we'll just take that, not too much. Since the hair is going to be um, lighter, I don't have to go that dark on the sides of the face, at least not now. And then I'm going to just take it in a little bit triangular over here as a contour on her face. And I'm going to get under here. Now I'm going to go with a shadow color. I'm debating whether I should go with the grays or a blue. Believe it or not, indigo blue, because this has a lot of like red in it. Indigo blue would work, but I have to be really super gentle with it. Um, the grays will be a little bit more natural. And I'm going to just put this in a little bit more at the temple to give this a little bit more natural feel too. And 
And this just gives a roundness to the head. Now her hair is splained back, so she's not gonna have that much of a shadow. But of course, because it's round and it goes in, there is a shadow. She almost looks bald now. <laughs> Did I talk to you guys about the ugly phase? There's a point in every picture where it just looks ugly. Um, you're not, it just, you haven't blended everything up and it just looks weird. And a lot of new people quit at that point. Usually that's the point where right after it starts to turn around and look really good. So just work through that ugly phase. Now I'm gonna blend that in a little bit. And just get everything smooth. Looks like I gave her a pimple over here. <laughs> you see that right there? Oopsies. <laughs> She's got a blemish. I don't know when I did that. Well, <laughs> if we wanted really real. <laughs> She's not perfect. But that's what you get when you're doing skin and you have a wayward stroke. I'm going to fix that with my... That's got to go. Let's get rid of that. Oh, did I make it worse? I may, may have made it worse. Once I give her a little bit of a lip, she'll look much more natural. And I just want to get a little highlight layer right underneath that brow so that it stays light later on. She still has a blemish. It's going to be one of those things, now that I pointed it out, you never would have noticed, but I pointed it out. It's like when YouTubers come on, I'm like, oh, just don't mind my, my hair, or don't mind my, and like you weren't even thinking about it. Like I gave her a pimple. Don't look. Nobody look in that specific area. Now, I realize her skin is very bright, but that's only because it's comparative to white. It'll look much different once I get some more natural things on her. So let's do a little bit of a lip. And I'm gonna start out with a very natural lip and I'm gonna use my Deco Pink. I'm gonna put makeup on her, but I just wanna get a pink base on her lips. And then we'll go from there. I have a hotter pink. On my counter here. And this is blush pink. And I'm starting off light. Now that's going to stick out like a sore thumb right now because I have no shadow on her face. Get a highlight into her lip right there. It's like a peeping out of the tongue right here. 
I don't know if Chris did that on purpose or it was just a slip of something, but you could kind of see it ever so behind her lips. I've got a little bit of pomegranate. <laughs> Where that's a natural lip. Now I'm putting on a little bit of, a little bit of makeup. Not much. And yeah, I know I have too heavy a line, but I'm going to blend that out with some white. I'm going to add a little bit of pink to her cheeks. Just giving her a little bit of a glow. And I'm using the blush pink. Not much room to get too fancy in there. These eyes are incredibly tiny. I mean, if you look at the point of my pencil, I can cover up the eyeball with the point of the pencil. That's how really tiny these are. Not much room for too much detail. Get a few lashes on there. Go out slightly over here. I'm going to blend this out. I haven't decided the color shadow yet. And we'll just brighten up in here. bit on the waterline, not too much. I'm going to use a sienna. I think that's going to be pretty because I got to get a little bit of sienna into her lips. I'll give her a little bit of a smoky eye. Don't forget to make the crease darker. I'm going to blend all this out with my white, so it looks really smoky. And I'm going to get a little bit of her eyebrows done. Remember on the eyebrows always a tapered stroke. And that'll be where the shadow is. And some sienna brown. Very thin line of it. Right where the hair is going to begin. Like she's dyed her hair. Use tapered strokes to do a total. I, was, I wanted to do a platinum. Like I'm wanting to do platinum hair on, on a picture. It's coming. But the ink on here, it might not work out. I still have to color the ears. She's earless. <laughs> okay, so let's get a little bit of sienna going in her brow. Well, this is going to get really long. And we have a lot more to do. So, I will see you guys on day 30. I just can't stop. <laughs> Okay, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe. 
stay healthy, and above all, stay in.